Now, uh, how many of you eat bread? <laughs> we all a serious do. question. We do. Yeah, we all eat bread. You all eat bread. So you are aware that how bread gets made, right? Yeah. Wheat yeah. crops and all that kind of thing. Ladybirds, bugs, things, mice, rats, all these other little creatures that are in the crop. They get destroyed in the production of, of wheat crops, right? So that you guys can munch your bread. Tell me the difference, ideologically, between me wanting a Christmas turkey, right, and you guys eating bread, which you know involves the slaughter of millions of young critters. Veganism is not about perfection. It's about doing the best that you can. If you, if you look at animal agriculture, it is the single biggest cause of climate change, global warming, deforestation. By far, more animals are being hurt through animal agriculture. And what we're doing is we're doing our best. We know that these why, animals why are suffering. Why don't you just suffering. give up bread and stop encouraging the suffering of insects? No, can I interject there? Because I appreciate the point where you're suggesting that the insects are being killed, but what we need to realise is the intent behind it. Nobody's intending to kill insects necessarily for us to eat bread. However, when you're eating a steak or whatever, the intent is very much there. You're deliberately killing that animal. No, but hang on, it. hang on. Now, when I eat so, a steak, when I eat a steak, I know that the preparation of that steak involved the killing of an animal. Sure. When they eat their bread, no, they me too, me too. Wait, wait a sec, wait, wait a sec. To Come to Ashley. When you eat your bread, right? You know, because you've all just admitted this, that when you eat your bread, you know it involves the slaughter of animals. To me, there's absolutely no ideological difference between my decision making when I eat my steak and yours when you eat your bread. I want you to tell me the difference. Those, a those animals have been hung upside down and slaughtered in an unnecessary these way. These little animals have been mown to pieces. Yeah. You wouldn't leave our house because every time we walk, you could be, for example, stepping on an ant. But that's I mean, the I problem with being I a vegan. I could be sitting on an ant right now. Right. You know, right. Right. we can't... There's so certain things you cannot help. Are you, yeah. you wearing leather shoes? No, I'm not wearing leather shoes. Any leather at all? No, I deliberately do... Buy you leather. never wear any weather. Very, no, no. Very OK, let's leather. bring in... Let's bring in Dominica. Here's my issue about the vegan thing, right? I've got no problem with anyone being vegan whatsoever, right? I believe absolutely in a right to choice when it comes to food, smoking, drinking, whatever you are. I don't believe in nanny state, right? Mm. What I have a real problem with is radical vegans storming into supermarkets like these three did with their mates, right? T Terrorising old people doing their shopping for Christmas, right? Young kids trying to go around with their mums and dads in supermarkets, marching into, into steakhouses and screaming abuse and playing... You know, I could go into their bread stores, right, and I could play little insects being killed on loud music, but I don't, because I respect their right to eat bread. I like bread. My problem is this kind of activism actually just does the opposite effect to what they think it does. It doesn't encourage people to be vegans. It has the opposite effect. It annoys everyone and wants me to eat, want to eat more meat Don't as a protest that. against them. Yeah, I think I share and I understand their pain that they have um, because obviously there are so many animals killed worldwide every day um, and it's, it's just horrendous. Um, but I think there are more effective ways to spread the vegan message um, because sometimes people just sort of shut down, like you were saying. Um, people don't have a choice but to listen to those, um, to those things. And I think obviously all of you guys have your heart in the right place and we all want to see well, they the, do, the world they become do, a vegan they, See, place. it's the tactics you're using to bully the rest of us into being like you. Ella, well, do you if, feel... you want, if you want to eat kale and quinoa all no, day, no, no, I'm very I'm happy for you. Yes, I think you deliberately misunderstand because I, I, I don't support any sort of violence and protest. But I wonder, Ella, if you can explain that this isn't just about a personal choice for a vegan. This is about trying to protect other living creatures. Mm. And that's why you feel motivated to be a little bit more evangelical than makes other people comfortable. Yeah, so, um, because, like, if... So if we ignore it, it's still going to be happening. So all we're doing is exposing what's already happening. And the tactics that we use are inspired by previous social justice movements. Mm -hmm. So it's completely necessary to do this. There's a difference. You could stand distract. outside, for instance. You could stand outside the steakhouse, or you could your stand outside the Your families eat me. That's irrelevant. Your, yeah. well, hang, on, hang on, hang on. Do your parents eat me? I don't know if, you've all, if your parents are also alive. I don't, sorry if, you know, I'm assuming they are. Let's do your parents all... Animal. Hang on. Yeah. Let me ask a question. Do your parents all eat meat? I think it's not important. Yes or no? Uh, I think that what we need yes to be focusing no. on is Even the animal rights. If you say yes, it's fine. If you, oh, say yes, fine. you keep out of this. Yes, fine. Do, your yeah. do your parents all eat meat? Uh, uh, my, my mother doesn't. They're, the changes are happening. Your parents eat more meat? More and more, more people are waking out. No. Uh, do any of your parents eat no. meat? It's certainly... What, what do any of your parents eat meat? Is that no. there's, a point to the point, there's a point to the question. None of your family eats meat at all. 
Do you, do yeah, you, no, do, my point funny. being, do you have my, to share the my views point with being, your family members? My point members being, if your family members them. eat meat, why are you not stampeding into their rooms when they're eating their Christmas turkey and protesting at your own families? Well, well, most vegans be, do have well, those conversations well, with them. They must have already fought that battle and lost. So over Christmas lunch, you'll all be standing there with your placards in your own back homes, will you? No, most vegans have conversations with their families and with their friends. Every single day, vegans are talking about what's happening to these animals because what they're facing is a total injustice, and the protest that we're doing. These are non-violent protests. But they're yeah, annoying they, protests. They, I don't they, want to go they, to the supermarket. They might, they might have be you annoying. lot howling at me yeah, about veganism? They might be annoying, but what they're doing is exposing the truth. And this is... A, what what happens in the jungle? What in the jungle, about? animals eat other animals yes, but we're to not stay in alive, the right? We're not well, actually, <laughs> we're doing the same no. thing as animals do in a jungle. We are eating no. to survive, no, no, right? We're not comparing people to animals. Does that mean you call almost compare We are animals. OK, so what? Ducks rape other ducks. So he's suggesting that's what we should do as well? Not at all. So you can't compare animal behaviour behavior, every single aspect of we animal In the jungle, animals, animals eat market. other animals to survive, right? Yes. Human yes. beings eat survive. other animals to survive. But this is not about our survival, because we can survive on a vegan so diet, which is evidenced by farming. all of us. This is... Well, this, what's ha these animals are survive, facing on all levels to, is but, an injustice. Right, they're being oppressed, when they're being slaughtered, you say they're you having their bodies abused and cut up, and that is an unnecessary thing. And we have a moral responsibility... I get it, but your morality doesn't... ...about these animals and do what we can to reduce suffering. I get it, and I admire the passion, but my point to you is your your fury about all this does not extend morally to the little animals that get killed in the production of the bread you love to eat. So my argument is you're hypocrites. No, well, I would what? say that it's unfair to call us hypocrites because what we're doing is... Of course you every, were. Everything but that Pierce, we are you not a hypocrite? Was you not defending... Was you not arguing against trophy hunting? Trophy hunting is disgusting, okay. right? OK, then. OK, so that is very much similar Posing to Posing with the head of a lion on your exactly, wall is, is making it precisely. into an ugly, horrible thing. I agree with you, but actually yeah, eating food it, for it. survival is not a horrible thing. No okay, can I survival. ask a question? Can I ask thing. a question for Dominica? A lot of people think that this is backfiring, but actually, what the the number of vegans is increasing, right? Absolutely, yeah. I think it's due to activism, and I'm an activist myself as well. I think there are so many different approaches that we could be spreading the message in. I think we have to keep in mind how the non-vegans, such as you guys, right. perceive us, and I think that's that's the most important thing. We've got to leave it there. Get. Look, if you want to protest against meat eaters, come to my place with your placards and your music, and we'll have a proper chat because I'll be there with my meat lovers. And we'll be re responding fire with fire. Well, if people want to go and watch Land and Hope and Glory, which is a 45-minute documentary um, about animal agriculture in the UK, all standard practice, retro-approved, okay. see what it is that right, you're funding.